a uh, new One Piece trailer just dropped. Um, general attitude seems to be hype. Maybe pick it apart a little after we watch it. Are your bodies Reggie? My body is Reggie. Let's go. Okay, Gold... Well, that's Gold Roger, obviously. Power. Ooh. His coat looks so good. It's a news coup! It's a news coup! News coup! Why would anyone want to be it's not a Muppet, but still. That's where we're going to find the One Piece. That... That shot with Kuro sneaking up behind him. Okay, so clearly there's a little bit of compromise with the buggy effect, but that still looked really good. You'll have to excuse them, they're idiots. And I'm gonna be king of the pirates. Hell yeah, he said the thing! <laughs> The cheek stretch looked really good. The the gum gum gatling looked really good. There was a lot of really solid effects there. Oh man, I I sorry, I I, I kind of like zoned there for the last half of it. I was just so like, oh, buggy's effect. Um, I was worried about how that would look, but uh, jump, jump. that you know, it, it clearly they're using the low light effect to make it work a little uh more cleanly, and they. Put him in that circus backdrop, but like, <laughs> it's it's all working. Um, Arlong, yeah, I mean, I like that they used practical makeup for him. It looks a little goofy here, um, but like, the teeth look good, and like generally the the like makeup on him looks really good. His nose is just a little bit goofy, but like there, he's really intimidating. I think it's interesting that he shows up at Barati first. Um, kind of makes me wonder if they might cut out. Because we haven't seen anything of... I don't even remember his name. You know, the guy the guy who shows up at Barati wrecks shit up. Krieg. Was, was Krieg cast? I was thinking that Krieg might serve a different role and they might put uh, Arlong in there instead. Hell yeah, let's let's just watch the trailer one more time. Um I'm we're gonna watch this a lot. So, Cause there's a few interesting details already I I, I think I'm seeing. Selves, take to the seas. My treasure I like that shot of Zoro and especially that so, uh, that shot of Nami. Yeah, so so Garp looks really good. Uh looks you know, as as a younger dude, it, it, it he looks badass. Costume design is really something. Oh, the seahorse! In the garden at Kaya's mansion. That makes more sense. That's why Sanji wasn't there. And it's a little more idyllic, too. Um, Kaya's mansion. That makes more sense. People start rioting. Um, Dragon would be somewhere in that crowd, right? I don't know if he's necessarily going to show up. But Dragon would be somewhere there. Yeah, yeah, there's Dragon right there. Edge of the crowd. The sets are so good in this. I mean, I think that's, you know, that that's uh they use CGI to extend the platform probably. But I mean, at least part of it is practical wood. Um the the courthouse in Logtown or you know the the square is looking really good. I, I but yeah, the the detail on on Roger's coat with his Jolly Roger Looks really solid. I found everything as well has to offer. Free yourselves. Take he didn't say I left it all in one piece. Literally unwatchable. The hat. That is Belmare. Okay. Are you with me? I love Aw oh, man. Okay. So this is this is definitely Luffy's first ship. For sure. I, I, little more realistic than a barrel. Yeah, the, the patchwork sail. <laughs> I love the new school. It looks so good. It looks so good. I, uh, the, and there is a barrel. There is a barrel. They got the barrel reference right. Mutiny. I love, just, God, but yeah, no, like, like, I, 
that's a really good effect. I still wish it was a Muppet. Um, but, but like, it looks really good. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's, yeah, they, they're doing a good job of balancing like a little bit of distortion to the designs, but keeping the details, um, realistic. Kind of like, it's the detective Pikachu approach to CGI, you know, where they keep the general form, but, um, you know, they, they add realistic detail to make it fit with the live action characters. Stunt work here. That's a great shot. Was that, was that probably not a practical demolition effect? That kind of looks like a practical demolition effect though. You know, like, like small bursts to blow up the wood and the, and the... I mean, either way, it looks really good. It's... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what is it? Or Jolly Roy. Yeah, the music really does slap, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're drawing the, the red line and the grand line. I feel like Nami would have paper, but I, I appreciate the artistic uh, move here. Zeph's ship capsizing. Yeah, you can even see the, the duck figurehead on it with the with the ha with the chef's hat they probably didn't build that one practical Island. since it's only in one scene Bigger Island. i love the big um the big wine bottle oh, on it so this is this seems to be one of the biggest changes so far is that that the buggy pirates are actually in a big top which does make sense you know for for set purposes it does kind of look plastic i don't know it also it looks like shaped metal but yeah you're right it's it's that is a little bit plasticky but um i think the weathering and detail on it's pretty good looks a very manga authentic a little bit like a power rangers prop i like power rangers though this i love this karo sneaking up on on uh kaya's butler just if those gloves look so good that's a really cool shot um, yeah, fantastic shot. Um, the set of this cellar looks great. Um, the backlighting, primo moment. Mary also looks really good. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely impressed with how good, like, the hair and neck beard thing that Mary has going on looks, considering how goofy a design that is. Yeah, they kept the horn and everything. Zoro at the bottom of a well. Is this from his backstory, you guys think? I'm not remembering that from any moment in the manga. He got lost and ended up in a well. Perfect. He only has one sword, so it might be. Could also be during Arlong, but if it's nighttime, it seems like that might be around the time when he had that sword fight that we saw in the teaser, though. Okay, so we... Uh, yeah, so the buggy circus seems to actually be doing some circus shit that's interesting um so they might be they might be playing up the circus aspect which isn't like a bad idea you know like there could be the idea that that buggy runs a circus to distract people while he robs them for example i'm wondering what they're gonna do with him now this the big top looks really good it's a solid set he looks really good Oh, man, this is the first time we've seen his hat, right? Look at the detail there. Yeah, bu Buggy's hat looks great. His costume's really good. S that goofy-ass nose. Which, again, I need to remind you, is a growth. That is not That is not a prop. He's physically like that. You can see Buggy's nostrils under his horrifically bloated nose. You can. Look at that. That's so good. That's such a neat little detail. And he looks... Jump, jump, oh, that's so good. That's so good. That whole delivery, everything. The laugh, too. He's going a little jonker there. All right. So here's that shot of Garp's ship again, which, again, looks really good. And so I thought that was CGI. Apparently, this is actually a practical set, which is wild. I don't think Garp shoots at them, though, so that's probably... 
Yeah, they're probably cutting two things together there. Whoa! Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, they fight Fishman on Barati. So I guess the Fishman are taking the place of Don Krieg. Which makes sense, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I you know, they, they gotta do some economical storytelling here, right? You know, they're, they're cramming a hundred chapters into eight episodes. They gotta cut something somewhere. He looks great. Arlong... Wonky on. Holy crap! That shot too. The like the stunts in this are really impressive. Now this must be um Nami's village. This has to be Nami's village. That's the only place it makes sense for them to be having this conversation. Oh yeah, he doesn't have a windmill on his hat, but there's um Genzo. Yeah, and Nojiko. Yeah, really good costume design for Genzo. Like like noticeable. Like, you can, you can tell who he is, even blurred in the background. Nojiko looks really good, too. Oh, man, that sidekick, though. Like, there's some really good action here. I just, oh, man, that's, that's so good. That's so fucking good on so many levels. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, like, that is such a good action shot on every level. Really good wire work. The fights feel super anime. There's so much going on in this one shot at the same time. I love, they've added, like, theme park shit to Arlong Park. That feels really like a, a very good set design choice. Like, but yeah, no, just the action... This feels One Piece, right? They got carnival games, for real. The bu the the building itself looks really good, too. Like, mm, what a set. What a set. You'll have to excuse them. They're idiots. <laughs> <laughs> now that, that also, exactly what Nami would say. People were complaining about the banter. I think the dialogue in this trailer is a lot stronger. Sanji smiling lovingly at Nami. Them. Yeah, yeah, oh uh, yeah, no, for for sure. He's also smiling because she just insulted all of the guys that she's with, and that means he's got a shot. <laughs> I I speak Sanji. Ooh, like Usopp too. He's <laughs> got sass. Usopp should have sass. Luffy's wanted poster. That's the reaction? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes so much sense. Usopp's just like, oh man, you hit the big time. Zoro's just looking at it like, yeah. Um, Sanji's also kind of hyped and Nami's just thinking about all the trouble it's going to bring them. That is fantastic. Fantastic. This music is so cool. <clears throat> But yeah, so Garp sneaking up on them. That, but... When's the first time that Garp connects with them in the manga? Is it... It's not after Alabasta, is it? I forget. Garp replacing Smoker might make sense. Yeah, post-Ennis Lobby. Yeah. Yeah. So, like... Yeah, way, way later. That's a big change. That's a really, really big change. But, like, if it wouldn't make sense for him to be Smoker, really. Because that's not, like, the relationship he has with Luffy. But, I mean, that could, that could be an interesting take on the character. I mean, Smoker's really good. Garp could fill that role. But it feels awkward to me. Especially since Smoker's the first Logia. Garp does a lot of cleanup in East Blue, right? Um, yeah, I mean, he is there at the time, but he only shows up, like, well after Luffy's left. Smoker's important as maybe the first real Marine who isn't just out and out evil. Yeah. No, for sure. He's he's really, really important. But in terms of, like, his long-term impact on the story, you could fuse him into other characters. I would not do that, personally, but, like, again, economy of storytelling is something they gotta worry about. This is practical, right? They set up that dock. They set up Barati. Um, I think the ship in the background might be CGI or they might have rented it. But like, 
that's all practical. I really like the lounge out front. Um, where the, the fight deck, I guess, comes up when they need it. That's that's a neat little added touch. God, all the little details on this shit, this though. Like the, the eye being like a, a dome skylight type thing. Uh, Luffy in his in his overalls looks really good. I like the strap on the hat. That's also, I mean, there was probably no way to to make it work without Our putting the strap on it. But I don't know. He, oh God, he, he he looks like such a goober, but in the perfect way. Oh shit, Belmare's grave can handle anything. That was a really good little moment of performance from Nami. This scene is going to make me cry hard, too. Um, great shot. Great set design here with the tangerine grove all around. But like, oh, God, just that that heavy breathing. Anything. That's some really good acting right there. I, I have a feeling that Nami is going to absolutely carry. Um, yeah, so Arlong also shows up at the big top. The kindness of killing you all. That zoom feels a little awkward. Like this, I'll just this the... shot feels a little Cl awkward. I don't know. I don't know if I'm sold on Arlong specifically. It does feel do like, a tr kindness. yeah, that zoom, yeah, the zoom makes it awkward, I think, and it like throws off the like I'll do the... menace of his slow lumbering walk. Kindness of... Decent effect of Luffy being thrown out there though, but also like, I'm being a little hypercritical here. But this this shot, there's a few things that like my brain's just not registering. Like Arlong is not there, right? He's not in the right place to have thrown Luffy. Kind of a small thing, but this that's the one shot so far that's that I. Eh. But we get to see the entrance to Barati, and that looks fantastic. You're my captain from now until the end. That's a real Zoro line. Um, so. Yeah, okay, so Zoro's definitely going to have his, like, big character turnaround moment after fighting Mihawk. Um, of killing you all together. I do like his voice, though. His voice sounds good. Together. Prosthetic nose is a little wonky, but overall, I like his design. I'm going to kick your ass. The hat scene! From now until the end. And then Zoro never cried again. That sword looks great. The set in general. So that's the map room, I think. Yeah, yeah, no, that's the other town on Nami's on the island that that he levels, I think. But I what I mean is that's the Arlong Park episode for sure. So the hat scene's either at night or indoors or mood lighting. Yeah, it's at night for sure. Um yeah, that's you can see that's the tangerine grove behind there behind her. Arlong, yeah, Arlong looks a little too short. Um, but that's, you know, that's a hard problem to solve unless you've cast me. Even then, he's supposed to be, what, like nine feet tall? Hard to get a human actor who will work for that. Not, Nami's really carrying, performance-wise, doing a really good job. Arlong Park collapsing looks great. The houses are not all... Are they turned over? Are they actually upside down? Aftermath of the buggy ball? Oh, yeah, you're right. That is the same outfit she has after the big top. Um, and there's this uh, weird marking on the walls, which I was wondering about. Maybe some kind of powder from the, the buggy ball cannon. Yeah, that, that's buggy ball. The hat scene, though. That, like, the framing of that, perfect. Luffy's face, perfect. Shanks! And that's before he lost his arm, too. Shanks' wig looks a little awkward there, I think. Uh, yeah, that, that I, I think would be why people are clowning on the design, and maybe because the hat doesn't fit him 100%. The hat is making the wig look worse. But overall, he looks like Shanks. These fight scenes are really, really complicated, which I like. You know, they feel like a panel that Oda would have drawn. 
Mihawk's sword looks really good, yeah. It, the close-up on the hilt was a little Power Rangers-y, but I think, like, the scale of it and everything really sells it. His eyes, also. That's a nice little one PC detail. The the perfect cut of his uh, of his beard. Mihawk, just fantastic. Fantastic. No complaints on any level there. Yeah, see, Shanks looks fine with the hat off. It's just, it's just there. The, the uh, Lord of the Coast also looks really good. I think it's more important that it look pretty good and he be able to wield it with that kind of grace. Although I do wonder if he's going to bring out his little teeny tiny sword at first. Yeah, the Lord of the Coast looks really good. Like, you know, the, the lighting on it. I, I'm genuinely impressed with the effects in this across the board. I like that they kept as much practical as possible so that, you know, the effects team would actually have time to make this stuff look good. Those, oh man, all those kicks that Sanji's doing. He's, his actor is really putting in work on the stuff. And Arlong looks better there. That's a really solid gum gum Gatlin. The, the lead up is a little awkward on those effects, like, but once it gets going, it just looks fantastic. L way better than I thought it would too, Itagami. Yeah, Shanks looks fantastic here. Absolutely fantastic. No complaints. It's just that early shot when he's wearing the hat. But you know... A lot of people probably just paused it as soon as they got to that and, and immediately went to Twitter to start complaining. Uh, Arlong with the roar. Yeah, okay, let's get back to it. What's so special about you? See, there. There he looks fine. It's just that first shot. The A lot of the first shots of the characters are a little awkward, but you get used to them. I still... I feel like maybe his nose should be sharper? I don't know. It's, it's a really hard design to make work with practical effects though. Like, I'm genuinely impressed overall. That looks really good. That's in full daylight. That looks really good. Like the, the sun shining through his lip, um, or through his cheek. Yeah, this is, this is a really good effect. It distorts his face properly. You, you like, can't fully see the blend line. They probably used maybe a little bit of makeup there to, to blend it in, but like, I'm impressed. His his hand looks more awkward. Like the way he's hooking his finger looks more awkward than the the um than the than anything else. And uh, you know that's not even a problem. It just his index finger looks a little too long. But I think that is actually just his hand. I'm monkey. Shit. Axe Hand Morgan. He's got his axe hand. Maybe Garp is chasing Arlong and that's why he's on Barati. That might be it. Oh, sh they did the shot. They did the shot. You know? Straight out of the manga. Yeah, that looks really good. That looks pretty cartoony, but it should. It's such a big moment. I like the the mouth of the shark opening up. T to be manga accurate, it should be like five times as long, but people would definitely complain about the CGI if they did that. Um, but yeah, like this is such a great effect shot. The the like the little the mouth opening up before it bursts apart. Um, the foot has just a good amount of distortion on it. Um, that's fantastic. That is that is way better than I ever thought it would look. Nami's being introduced er, er, earlier either with Alvita like the anime or with Zoro since it's Shelltown. I think probably they're they're going to take a cue from the anime and and put her in with Alvita. That just makes a lot of sense. That's I feel like the, that that just makes more sense for her character to be introduced there robbing Alvita. Um, that way they can have Buggy be his own thing. Um, and tie him into Arlong on some level. 
okay let's 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 take a sec to to read the what the posters say cavendish oh yeah you're right that's totally cavendish with his fucking butt chin careless talk may help the enemy do not discuss so that's some classic propaganda there our speaker oh fuck oh fuck i didn't this foxy it's fucking foxy yes yes my boy ah! i was reading i was too caught up reading the poster i didn't even <laughs> he looks so he looks so good bad the, the, the eyebrows ah i hope that so that means he's cast that means they've got somebody to be foxy that means that I mean, they can't skip Long Ring, Long Land, because that's definitely foreshadowing for the final confrontation between the Straw Hats and Shanks. But regardless of anything else, I mean, if they're cutting Krieg, they could cut a lot of people. But Foxy is too important. I stand by this. Foxy's so too important. Pirates. Bellamy! Shit, there's so much here! Yeah, 55. Okay. 55 million was his debut when we first met him on Pirate Island, so it looks like he hasn't gone up since then. Um, I love the propaganda posters. That one's, that one's really cool. That graphic. I, that's, that, all these better be foreshadowing, right? All of these better be foreshadowing. Foxy better be foreshadowing. That's all I'm saying. I need my Foxy episode. I need it so bad it will probably it's it's gonna it's almost impossible to adapt because that is the most Looney Tunes that the whole thing gets. But I need it. I need Long Ring Long Land. I need them to do live action Laugh Olympics. The thing is, you can't really skip Long Ring Long Land if you're doing Water Seven, because Long Ring Long Land. I think it makes a perfect like introduction to the start of the season where you just get like a little adventure and then they go into the main storyline. Um, you can't like skip Long Ring Long Land though because the the tide in um, Water 7 is directly tied to all of that world building. Okay, one sec. One sec. All right. Um, this was just shared by chat. So Don Krieg's... Don Krieg does have a poster design. That's interesting. Where's my face? <laughs> Such a good line. 